much, Royal. Have a seat. How are you guys doing? Nice to have you here. It's a pleasure. How's Hi. everything going? Good. How was all the food in the green room? Awesome. Um, was it the good? The cheese was wonderful. Was it good? Yeah. Did they, they they share? They were good. They were on their best uh, behavior in there. Uh, or what? Yes. You know, he took most of it. DJ took most of it. Were you, were you hungry? No or? I was pumped. I don't like chocolate. You want? You don't want chocolate? No, it's good. It was like all good. All healthy stuff. I was pumped. Okay, so you guys are the other half. Yes. Let's talk about the other half. How did it all begin? Um, I would say it uh, began about two years ago. Mm -hmm. I, I initially started as a solo project, yeah. and, um, you know, I wanted to come out as a solo artist and everything, and uh, my management at the time uh, auditioned these guys, and um, I grew really close with them, and I'm like, you know what? It shouldn't just be about me. Mm -hmm. It should be about, like, you guys are musicians. You want to do this, too, so let's just make it about everybody. And, um, you know, we agreed that we'd be a band together, and we came up with the name The Other Half, so... Uh, and here you are, right? Here we are. Yes, on M.O.D. It's, yeah. It's, it's, it's fabulous. And Thank you. But so, here's the thing. You're American. What's that? You're American. Yes. And both of these boys are Canadian. And mm -hmm. sexy. And, sec and, and sexy. And <laughs> sexy. Absolutely. So how did that... Were you guys living in the States at the time, or what happened? Um, when this all happened, um, you know, it, they actually, um, I came to Canada to okay. start writing songs and stuff like that. So, you know, they're from here. So I, I met them here in Canada and everything like that. And then, you know, we traveled around doing stuff and the whole, I had to go to L.A. for the House of Carters thing. Yeah, which so. we have here on Much Music. Yes. And, um, yeah, it just, it just went from there. <laughs> Okay, so we were just chatting about the whole writing process. You're about to record your album. How exciting is that for you guys? Because it's, you know, been a short time. You've been together two years, but it's all happened so quickly. Yeah, I mean, initially, um, I had written a few, like, more than a few, like, about 12 or 11 songs with um, this one guy. But throughout the past two years, we've all been writing together and, you know, just hang out and go to his house and just, you know, it's, it's really intimate. Mm -hmm. And we get to just write stuff and be creative together. So it's happened throughout the past two years. Now, is it hard being the only girl in the band? No, because Do I... they pick on you? No, 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 no because I, I don't get along with girls at all. You don't? I don't have girlfriends okay. or anything yeah. like that. I'm not a real girly girl. Yeah. So um, I, I get along better with guys, and it, it's cool. I like having guys around me. You guys don't pick on her, though, do you? Do you never. behave yourself, DJ? Yes. I don't trust you. You seem like a brat. <laughs> Me? You should never you seem trust like a brat, honestly. I'm, I'm always good. No, he's the biggest brat. Is no? he? Yeah, self-absorbed. You're self-absorbed. <laughs> All of it is coming out right now on MOD. Is I this true? Maybe. Really? No. <laughs> so you bring that to the band, though. Oh, it's awesome. I don't know. I just this guy brings all the energy. He does? Mm -hmm. You're the crazy one. It's AD. Yes, but I love that about him. You know, he, he's got a lot of energy and that, that enthusiasm. You know, you can't have all these boring people in your band. It's just like, ugh. It's just blah. It is. Yeah. And, you know, he's got that spunk and, you know, yeah, the I, cute little blue afro. I don't he's need like, to bring sexy back. I got it already. <laughs> afro? Wait, I'm sorry, Mohawk. Mohawk. I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> So DJ, Mike, for those of you know people out there that are watching at home and are interested in your band, what can we expect from your CD? People that know nothing about you. Did I put you on the spot? Yeah, what can a you tell bit. us about your sound? Something that we can a look forward to. A little heavier than you'd probably expect from a Backstreet Boy background. Really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. A little more emotional, little... It's coming straight from her journals. It's and all from your journals? Yes. Yeah. And, uh, um, all the lyrics are written by me, so that's they great. all come out of my journals. And a lot of people would expect it to be, you know, my brothers are Backstreet Boyd and Aaron Carter. And, you know, they kind of have this expectation of me. So mm -hmm. I, I would definitely describe it as something you wouldn't expect, you know, coming from the background of the family I come from. Yeah. What yeah. was it like growing up having Nick as your older brother and being famous? Was that crazy when you were younger? It was crazy and stressful and just a lot to, you know, deal with at a young age. You know, Nick started very young and I was only like eight years old when he like started getting into it. So it's a lot to handle at that age. but. You know, you deal with it. You know, I'm 20 years old now, so. Yeah, so it's like, whatever, you don't yeah, care. Yeah, you know, I'm yeah. used to it. Yeah. I think we got, like, we should have, like, four samples up on our MySpace, too. So, if, like, 
anyone who has that. Check out the page right yeah. now. Yes, definitely check out the page, you know, for some music. Mm-hmm. And it's it's myspace.com slash the other half music. And you can check out what we've been doing now. And, you know, again, A we'll, be, updates and we'll stuff. be releasing in um, May. Mm-hmm. So... Fantastic. Yeah. Okay, we have an email. Qu- what were you going to oh. say, DJ? Sorry. Throughout the recording, we'll be throwing up more stuff, too. Just like a little flavor. Little tease. Little, little tease, yes. for everybody, right? Make it wait till May. <laughs> okay. We have an email question. And, uh, okay, this is from Kyle in Toronto. He says, has being on the House of Carters changed your life in a weird way? And if so, how? Um, I wouldn't say it's changed my life. Um, it's only been one season and everything like that. I've been around cameras my whole life. They have been coming in and out of my life. Because of Nick and Aaron, and, you know, we've always had people just always around us with cameras, so it wasn't too much of a big dramatic change. Mm-hmm. But um, I'd say it changed it for the better because I got closer to my family, and it really is true. I got to actually be with them, and it seems like we only get to hang out with each other when it's, like, on stuff like this because this is our life. Mm-hmm. With the cameras around, right? Yeah, People are watching really, you live your moments. Yeah, it is. But that's good that you guys are closer now. Okay, so we have an audience question from Katie. Katie, what's your question? Hi, Leslie. Um, I was just wondering, was there ever or is there ever any competition between you and your brothers regarding your music? Uh, yes. There <laughs> <been> is. <laughs> that's a good answer. I'm, I'm You're not honest. a liar. I'm an honest person. Yes, there are. And, you know, especially with Aaron, uh, because he's my younger brother, and I've tried to write songs with him and stuff like that, and he just... You know, he wants to prove that he's better than me and all this this stuff. And I'm just, you know, being the older one, I'm just like, all right, you know what, you're better than me. It's fine. You Aaron, that dirty laundry. Yeah. <laughs> you just let him have it, right? You're like, whatever. Yeah, I just like, you know, whatever. It's fine, you know. But, yeah, we've tried to write songs together, but it does not work. 